I've been waiting for this for a while, as I'm sure many of you have. And this is one one issue, of course, on the second monitor. Uh, my, the menus don't work properly, but that's okay. You know, we can. Uh, I can live with that. I can, I can live with a few uh, some bugs for for this. So you know, don't don't get too uh, worked up about it. So, but, but the beautiful thing is, first time you start it, they open up their package manager. Now, I work in my package managers all day. <laughs> this shit's beautiful. You can just install exactly what you want and uninstall what you want with a click of a button. Uh, seems like an excellent way to do a store. So, you know, maybe a hey, Bitwig, if you want to uh, just, you know, make some money. How about do the intermediary thing instead of charging people $900 for software? You know, just become like kind of an iTunes for musicians. I haven't really taken the time to explore any of these. 15 minutes this morning, just going, oh my goodness, what an amazing thing. First things first, it, you know, in every music application, you got to connect it to all your junk. So any given collection of inputs and outputs you might have could be addressed here. D down at the, in the outputs, you can do stereo output. So for just, you know, line level stuff, um, you could have speakers for your monitors. You could have headphones, maybe they have a queuing implementation of some sort. Um, all in all, it just seems, you know, you could do a bounce down track for, you know, whatever purposes, maybe your subs, um, you know, just to, uh, this, the, the amount of flexibility this interface is, is amazing. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, all, that, that is your audio input and output configuration. And this is your MIDI controllers. So we can just, you know, let's just go back to nothing. Go out there and see what's there. It found my little nano controller. It didn't find my MIDI keyboard, so we'll just do that there. After we add the keyboard, then we just map the input and we're good to go. So now we just have to find an instrument to play into. So we pop on over to our list over here. Uh, they have a pretty nice organ that we can just drop on in there and hopefully it'll just Conversely, it will also turn everything on because Bitwig Studio starts in off. So this is the button you gotta hit press in case nothing's working. That's getting started with Bitwig Studio. I'll let you more when I do.